Okay, so this is just a quick um, update video. Um, it's been a while since I've made one. Um, I thought, thought I'd start showing some more electrical stuff. Um, I'll get a video done soon of what the inside of the container is looking like now. Uh, but this is this is going to be sort of, well this is a test setup, but this is going to be sort of the heart of the electrical system. Uh, this is the SBMS 100 by Ele Electrodaceus, Dacus, not too sure how to say it. Um, just running a test setup now with some uh, 18650 cells, um, just to see how it performs. So far, very very happy with it. Uh, it only just came in the post today because I gave him my uh, address a bit late. That's not his fault. Um, but yeah, I've had a look through some of the settings and things, and uh, it all seems pretty good so far. Um, so this is going to be sort of be the heart of the system. At the minute, I'm running just a 12 volt pack. It's just uh, three cells in parallel. Uh, sorry, three cells in series, and then there's two packs in parallel, just to bring the capacity up a little bit. And outside, I've just got a little 20 watt solar panel, um, just set up temporarily. <coughs> you can see we're currently making 14 watts. Um, so what I'll, I'll have in my final setup is a, a 24 volt system um, with lithium ion phosphate batteries and the big prismatic cells. Um, so it's it's kind of a, an alternative to using lead acid deep cycle batteries, and it really is it's just a better alternative all round. Especially with this device as well, because it means that people who are a little bit less familiar with electronics um, can actually use these cells um, very safely, uh, and it, it provides a good alternative to lead acid that ultimately is probably going to be more expensive to begin with, but it's going to save you a hell of a lot of money in the long term. Like this kind of system, you're looking at you know lasting sort of as long as your solar panels kind of thing. If you have it set up right, lithium ion phosphate batteries have a, a very large cycle life potentially you could buy the battery bank once and it could last the next 15 years 20 years perhaps uh, it definitely could last 10 um, but as it is now this is just a little test setup I'm probably gonna have this set up for a while and I'll sort out the wiring and do it properly on a little board and I'll use it just for running some lights and charging my phone um, just to see how it goes and then once I'm ready I'll uh, get some more, some bigger solar panels, build up a 24 volt pack and use it to run the uh, the whole um, off-grid house. But yeah, just a quick video update, I thought I'd better do one seeing as uh, I've not been around in a while. Um, big thanks uh, to Electrodacus or Datius uh, for the SBMS 100, he's done a fantastic job, uh, it's a really quality product, I'd highly recommend it. If you're looking at an off-grid project and you haven't started, I really would recommend go lithium if you can um, and then you don't have to go down the lead acid route um, so yeah I'll try and get another video out soon show you the container how it's looking uh, thanks for watching if you're not already subscribed um, feel free to do so and that means you get a notification anytime I've got an update for you thanks see you later